Hey guys, it's Lindsay and welcome back to my video series with Uptown Cheapskate. Today we're talking about the fashion event that everybody's talking about this week, the Met Gala. So the Met Gala's theme this year, as I'm sure most of you know, was camp, notes on fashion. Now you might be having the same reaction that I did when I heard of the theme. What does that even mean? Like. We all know what camp feels like, and it's like, you know it when you see it vibe, but how do you define it? So really, it's an exaggeration. Anything fanciful, fabulous, over the top, outrageous. So, I mean, you saw Katy Perry dressed as a chandelier. That gives you a pretty good idea. Anything that's just totally outrageous. So. I actually feel like this was a really appropriate theme for this Met Gala. Um, Andrew Bolton, who was the is the curator of the Metropolitan Museum's costume exhibit, which is what the Met Gala is for. It's like their opening night event. Um, he describes camp as a cultural phenomenon. So if you look at the runway shows and anything high fashion that's really popular right now, it's almost always taking an idea and making it over the top. So you're not just going to find a regular pantsuit anymore, it's going to be a pantsuit with color blocking and flaring, maybe multiple jackets, and an outrageous headpiece and massive shoes to go with it. So camp is taking something that's ordinary and making it extraordinary. So I want to talk to you guys about some of the best dressed celebrities on the pink carpet this year and show you guys their looks and just my thoughts on it and we're just going to have a really good time. So the first celebrity we have to talk about is Lady Gaga. She is the queen of camp. She's been doing camp before it was cool. She is the one who wore a meat dress and burst from an egg and all of that fun and weird and exciting stuff that she's done. So her outfit was actually very classy and gorgeous. And I'm gonna throw up some pictures. She started in this massive pink ball gown with puffy sleeves and a giant headpiece and people all around her holding her insanely large train and holding umbrellas. And it was just solid pink, very classy, very beautiful. Brandon Maxwell dress wearing her Tiffany & Co jewelry as she usually does for these egg events. And then she took that off and was in this gorgeous classy black cocktail dress with an uneven neckline. It was fit and flare, just absolutely gorgeous, holding one of the umbrellas that one of the men who was holding her train came in holding. And then she changes again into a straight, tight silhouette pink cocktail dress again, puts on sunglasses and is holding a clutch and then changes again into typical of Lady Gaga, black lingerie, which is actually very similar to a magazine cover she did in 2007. So I think Lady Gaga did a very good job of exemplifying the theme, which is definitely important because she's one of the co-hosts. Her first dress was absolutely outrageous and the fact that her outfit was a Russian doll I just think made it even better and she ended up in just black lingerie with these massive boots on and these diamond eyelashes that were just sticking out everywhere and looked like they could have pierced her face at any given moment. So that was Lady Gaga's look and it just honestly absolutely stole a show. So Harry Styles was probably the next most popular look, and honestly, even though I really liked it, 
I don't think it was camp. He essentially dressed like a formal pirate. Um, what was interesting about his outfit is he wasn't just wearing a suit like most of the men at the event were, um, and the ruffles and pirate style of his shirt was really interesting and it was sheer, but again, I don't really think it was camp. He looked gorgeous. Serena Williams was another one of the co-hosts. She did, I think, a really good job. Um, she was wearing just a neon yellow dress with all of these 3D flowers and a massive train and neon Nikes, which I thought were just a really cool addition to the look. She wasn't the most campy out of everyone, but I do think she definitely did the theme and did it well. Jared Leto. I'm sure most of you have seen his costume by now, whether you know it or not, but Jared Leto came in carrying a replica of his own head. And I don't think anyone can argue that that is not camp. I personally feel like he did the theme best out of anyone at the event and what he was actually wearing, which was this red robe with diamonds, diamond accents, and a slit up the front. It was just, it was just cool. It was good. What he was wearing was phenomenal. So he wasn't just leaning on the fact that he was carrying his own head. And I really think he did a phenomenal job. Billy Porter dressed as an Egyptian god and was carried in by six shirtless men. Very impressive. <laughs> um, I think obviously he did a very, very good job. When he um, lifted up his arms, he turned into moth, butterfly, whatever. Very cool, very shiny, very extravagant, very camp, very proud of him. So Aquaria, I also think, did a fabulous job of dressing to the theme. She kind of dressed like a demon, but like in a very fashionable way. Her dress almost looked tattered. There were pieces just flopping around. Her hemline was very uneven. She was wearing this beaded wig. Um, her, she's wearing these accessories on her hands that just gave her these awesome diamond talons. I just think she, she did a very, very good job. A little bit scary to look at, but very fashion and very camp. So Kim and Kanye's costumes are the last ones I want to talk about because I saw this story on Vogue's Instagram today and I just thought it was so cute. She was in this fabulous sheer dress that just had diamonds hanging off of it and she looked amazing. Um, not super camp, but she looked really, really beautiful. And I saw on Vogue's Instagram today that the first time Kim went to a Met Gala, she came as Kanye's plus one. She wasn't like, I guess, important or famous enough to get in on her own. So this year, Kanye said to her, this year, you steal the show and I'm going to be your plus one. So when I first saw his outfit, I was like, really, that's the best you could do? You look like you didn't even try. And it turns out that he didn't. He was just being like super adorable. He was in a black bomber. Just, I mean, the outfit was very nice, but it was just very normal and obviously not camp. Um, so I just thought that was a really cute story. <laughs> all right guys, so that's all I'm gonna discuss with you today, but obviously there were so many more people who did such a phenomenal job dressing to the theme and dressing in these beautiful outfits. So I will include a little slideshow, I guess, of pictures and show you guys all of these different outfits and looks so you can see them and admire, admire them if you haven't seen them already.
And that's all I have for you today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got as much enjoyment out of looking at these looks as I did. And I really appreciate you guys taking the time to appreciate these costumes with me. And as always, follow Uptown Cheapskate at Uptown Tampa Palms. Follow me at Trust Me It's Fashion. And I will see you guys next week. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and like this video.